Hi, uh, this is my response on the Unit 2 question um, regarding uh, Michael Oriard and his, um, his thoughts on the American attitudes and how going back to um, or looking at the basically the way American football began um, and how the, the sort of the attitude of Americans in athletic competition um, is very aggressive and um, the first thing I thought of and perhaps it's you know he mentioning the British and the the uh, the uh, the upper class and the, the honor code and, and so forth was was the American Revolution and the, the Americans being the rebels versus the loyalists and um, that just sort of seems to have stuck through our history um, with you know, in, in the, the book talking about uh, America being basically we are a we are middle class, a group of middle class people who don't have that prestigious honor code to break. Um, so I, I looked at a speech by Leon T. Kendall, professor of finance and real estate at Northeastern University's Kellogg School of Management, uh, which he gave in May of 2002. Um, and he kind of went through history from the late 1800s, um, giving examples of, of business and um, businesses being, I guess, overly aggressive and and finding ways around the rules to give themselves um, whatever advantage they could. Um, just a few of them. Um, he talked about in the time period from 1890 to 1914, a lot of mon monopolies were being formed. Um, you know, giving them a, a great competitive edge. Uh, Standard Oil was was the big one at that time. Um, he talks about price fixing in the stock market, which um, in 1937, I believe, that the stock market had to be shut down for four and a half months, or, or the, the New York Stock Exchange, rather. Um, um, then some more examples in the 1929 to 1949 period, um, Lots of bank regulations came into play because things were being mismanaged um, over aggressive bank managers. Uh, the SEC was founded in, in 1934. Um, so this, lots of examples, and, and he gives many more of more and more regulations being put into place because um, I, I guess that American attitude was um, doing whatever they could to, to get ahead. Um, and then you know, more rules, more ways around the rules, and, and so forth. He ends by talking about Enron in, in 2002. Um, but the first thing that kind of I, that came to my mind when I, when I see the word loopholes is uh, income taxes and you know, tax accountants essentially looking for loopholes and, and ways for their clients to pay less taxes. And um, you know, maybe loopholes isn't ex exactly the right word, but... Um, essentially, they are looking for whatever method they can for their clients to pay less taxes, which um, is just kind of the, the way it is. And so the, the more seemingly, <clears throat> seemingly the more loopholes there are, the more regulations need to be put in place. Um, and I think this does just correlate exactly to, to, to what, um, with some, some progression, but to what Michael Oriard was talking about um, when talking about how football was formed and um, sort of the more um, rebellious and less prestigious um, way of, uh, of, of playing. And uh, I think that reflects our society, at least through history, has reflected our society um, for, for much of the United States. Thank you.